Guys, in this video, we got a Banggood special to have a play with. Now this thing is small and it's dirt cheap, but I'm not gonna bore you with all the techno babble, so I'm gonna put a link down below where you can check out all that and where you can buy one from. Do you have a job you hate? Imagine if you could make more money from the comfort of your own home. That was my dream and it became a reality once I started selling on eBay. <laughs> I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars by selling on eBay and I've now taught hundreds of people my secrets. So I'll just check out the results here from some of my students. So if you're sick of that 9 to 5 and you want to make more money than a doctor from the comfort of your own home, then click on the link down below and I'll show you how. Subscribe! I mean, more would not, it's free. So there it is. Check it out. So it's four wheel drive, has double wishbone suspension, front and rear, threaded coilover shocks, and steel drive shafts all round. Also, proper ball bearings in there, look. Let's have a look to see what's inside. So the body shell hinges up to expose all the mechanics inside. So brushed motor, gigantic servo considering the size of the car, and to charge it up, you plug this into there, and this into there. So you get everything that you need to get this car to run. So you get the car, battery, charger, instructions, and the controller, but you do need to supply your own AA batteries. So a quick look on casterracing.com, you can see that all the spare parts that are needed for this car are readily available. And you can also pay with PayPal so you know your payments are safe. Now oh guys, let's check out this epic body shells that my buddy Johnny Rains painted for me. This is mounted on my burnout car. If you want to see this in action, there's going to be a link to that up here. All oh, right, so we're all charged up. And I'll tell you what, the overall quality of this thing is pretty good. It feels pretty good anyway. So let's plug him in. Steering, plenty of power and speed. <laughs> and for something brushed, it's fairly lively. All right, let's see how it goes. Here we go. Oh. Let's go on there. All right, here we go. What's he doing? Here we go. I don't know what's going on, but... I'm going forward and it's going backwards. And now it's going... Oh. Hmm. All right, let's turn it on and off and try again. Hmm. Maybe there's something in here causing interference. Let's try it in here, see what happens. What's it doing? What? All right, so I think what's happening there was that the throttle reverse switch was being a bit intermittent. So I'll give it a little bit of a wiggle, make sure that it's all the way pushed down. And now it seems to work fine. So next, let's take it outdoors and see what it does in the real world. Oh yeah, subscribe. Next location. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> all right back in the shop all in all it went very well nothing broke it all performed perfectly uh, the only thing that i would say is it would be nice if it was maybe a little bit faster but that's coming from someone that's got a lot more of these more expensive hobby grade rc cars if this could be for like someone's first rc car then later on maybe you could convert it into brushless this could maybe be a perfect contender but anyway guys i'm going to put a link down below to where you can get one of these cars from also if you want to know more of the techno babble uh, so for now i'm going to see you over on one of these other videos
Thank you.